Hello there, greetings, Jackson here. So, the holy grail of Google PageSpeed Insights. Getting all four of those scores to 100. You know, performance, accessibility, best practice and SEO. Is it possible? Yes, very much so. Is it easy? Yes, no, depends. It's all about building your site with performance in mind from the absolute get-go. And number one means you're going to be building that with block theming. It means you've got to approach every page, every section with that same speed focused philosophy. And you've got to get those pages humming along and super speedy before you go anywhere near a on-site cache plugin. Because you're going to need that later on when you start throwing in things like Google Analytics or other plugins that bring a ton more overhead to your beautifully optimized site. Of course, you're going to need decent hosting, good quality WordPress specialist hosting. It's not expensive, you know, 20, 30, 40, 35 bucks a month. That sort of investment will give you the foundation to build super speedy sites on and is absolutely essential. Yep, those hosts should and will have server side cache. And that's what we got going on here. Super optimized cache server side. That's cool. But absolutely no on site caching plugins when you're building a site and optimizing it. Just as a side note, if you want a, a free appraisal of your site and its speed and performance, check out the link in the description below. Sign up and yours truly will give you a free, honest appraisal of your site speed performance, along with some advice and recommendations of what you can do to improve it. Link is in the description. Anyways, can we do it? Can we get those four scores to 100? Let's give it a go. Right, off we go. Uh, 2024 installed just another page added so we're going to use that one for the on page stuff let's see what we're up against here well it's actually not that bad 73 a cash plugin would probably just bump that straight up to something even more reasonable but remember this is about getting the site uber optimized before we get any cash plugs involved there is server cache it's cloudways the varnish cache and the object cache on cloudways hosting is just knock it out of the park good the server side stuff is in place Let's get optimizing. Right. First up, let's take a look at our site and the files we've got coming in. Here's the network tab of the inspector on Firefox. And we can see that we've got these 14 files coming in. Well, one is just the, the actual main HTML. So a meg worth of stuff. Let's have a look at what is the chunky ones. Let's have a look at images. Ouch. 400K of that one meg is images. Hold your horses. Fonts. Nearly 600K of that one meg. I think we need to get that sorted out. Right, let's start with the images. So this image here is pretty large, but I know for a fact that it only needs to be 1280 pixels wide because that's the position it's in and the max width of the wide width setting on, tw on 2024 theme is 1280. We'll right click and save the image as the file name. Let's create a new folder for our images save that same with these into our images folder same as right next up let's get that folder open i'm going to use this online tool for quickness for the webp conversions so if we get that folder open where our images are and we'll get our exterior on there take a look at that we're going to do it by dimension and currently it's 1500 pixels well we know we only we only want it 1280 we want to keep the aspect ratio and resize it auto crop it it's going to do its thing and we're going to get a much smaller image plus i think this actually compresses it even further not quite sure but look at this from 200k to 78 let's download that into a new folder called sized save right let's get our other two now our other two if we look at the front end here they're never going to be half the wide width certainly not for this page so that's going to be maximum 600 let's go with 600 so we'll get back to our folder and it's our tourist and our window that we want them both the same sizes get those as 600 max keep the aspect ratio again resize the images auto crop and Shazam, look, quarter the size, sixth of the size, the seventh of the size. Let's download those into our sized folder. Download, download. Right, let's get into the admin. We're going to go to our pages, go to that duplicate homepage I made called Optimized. We're going to swap over our first image, replace that. 
open the media library, get our files open, go to our size, we'll drop them all in there. Cool, that's the one we want. Let's just give that a better name. Don't forget your alt tag, select, cool, same again, replace, media library, get our better name and alt text in, done, same again with our building, our windows rename that should be a bit more descriptive but we're on a speed mission here okay let's update that now we're going to have to flush the server cache a few times during this demo because i haven't got the cloudways cache plugin installed where you could do that from within the admin but let's just head over to the server and the application and we'll just purge the cache there cool that's done let's get back to our front end and see what we're saying now on this page let's get to our network and all our files nice hard refresh oh yes look we're coming down 742 now okay these fonts <laughs> fight you know let's have a look at fonts shall we inspector open let's make that a bit wider and we get the fonts inspector here we've got and we can use the all fonts on page view here there's three fonts on this page that make up this 600k, nearly 600k. Cardo twice, which is the serif that's also italic, and just that inter, which is a variable font, so it technically is bigger because it's got every font weight in it, but we don't need every font weight. We probably need one or two. Let's get the font inspector open. And so that's into 500, that's into 600, that's 400, 600, 600. 400 so i'm going to sacrifice 500 because i think that could be 600 or it could be regular so let's exit that right let's get on to fonts at google let's have a look for cardo first we've got these three styles now here's here's what you want to do because of course if let's have a quick get back to the back end again let's close that up and get into the editor and we'll get that open and have a look at our styles in our font manager get the styles open let's have a look at our typography and you see we've got our inter and cardo here so we're going to disable those guys and replace them but it's staggering and i did a video about this a few months ago it's staggering how small we can get those font files let me show you back to google we click get font and we and definitely don't want to download it because you get the ttf files let's go to the embed and what we want is to get this little fella here this URL for the font list. Open that up and we're looking for 400 Latin. So Latin 400, that's what we want. Let's open that in a new tab. Should just give us the download link. Save that. We'll get put that in a new folder called fonts. Just give that a name, Cardo 400. That's saved. Back to our font list. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> 14k that little fella 14k are you with me okay let's get the italic so we want i think that's at the top cardo latin italic 400 exactly the same deal highlight the link open it in a new tab we'll get the save file dialog we'll get a name on that as well cardo 400 italic save that close some of these tabs down back to fonts and we need our inter we're going to get font, same again, get the embed code. Right, so this looks like it's going to give us a variable. Let's choose one value so we can choose exactly what we want. And it's going to be the regular 400. Let's get that URL open. Open that up. Look for our Latin 400. There it is. Grab our link once more. Open that in a new tab. Should give us the dialog save box. Save that to our fonts. Done. Close that, close that. Let's go for the semi bold. Get that link open. Latin 600, that's what we want. Get that open in a new tab. Dialog box to save. Okay, saved and we're done. Right, into our back end. Back to our typography. Let's go to the fonts manager. Cardo, let's disable all of those, update that. Same with Inter, disable that, update that. Now we're going to upload our fonts we've just grabbed off Google. Let's get that folder open. Where's our fonts? There they are. Let's get Cardo in first. Drop that in there. Great. Let's look at our, look at our library. Cool. That's in there. I'll carry on uploading now. 
Let's get Cardo Italic in there. Cool. Check our library. Old Cardo gone. Active new Cardo. Perfect. Next up, we've got our extremely long file name, but it is one of those inters. Forgot to name it. Not to worry. Whack it in. Check our library. Inters coming in there. Upload. Last one. Back to our library. Inter and Cardo seem to be all in play now. And we can see them. They've actually appeared in the fonts list here. Now, the, the elements we should have reset previously, but because we've removed the fault, the font, they've gone back to default, which is which is fine. So the overall typography should be Inter for your text and all the rest of it. You see how everything's changed now? Gone from system font to our new Inter. And our headings should be Cardo. Shirt z -z 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 -am. Look at this. We are done and dusted. Right, save that, save that. We're just going to give the server cache a purge. Get back to our front end and see where we're at once that's done doing its thing. Did you see the size of these fonts? Look at this. Stonking, stonking stuff. Right, that purge has sorted itself. Let's get back to our front end. Close up some of these tabs. Okay, where were we? Network. Fonts, 877 fonts. O fonts, what are we saying now? Let's go all first. Hard refresh. Get that fresh stuff in there. Look at this. Look at this. We're getting on for a quarter of the size of the site here. Images, next to nothing, 100K. They're not even being lazy load, remember that? Fonts, look at that, 72K from 576 or something, wasn't it? So it's safe to say that we've done a pretty good job there. Shall we see how we're doing on page speed? Yeah, let's see how we're doing on page speed. So we were on 73. Let's have a look, see. But we want to test our optimized page here rather than the home page. Although the home page will actually have the font optimization on it, obviously, because that's site wide. But let's get the optimized page in. Analyze that, bad boy. Come on, Google, what are you saying? Oh, yes, indeed. We've got three yeses, three hundreds. Now, what about that last one, SEO? Now, I know because I've obviously done this before. It's a quick fix and I want that 100 as well. Let's have a look what's the, what the issue is. Document does not have meta description. Links are not crawlable. Well, this is a bit of a red herring because, of course, because it's a 2024 template, the links aren't going anywhere. So that's an easy fix. Document does not have meta description. Unbelievably easy to fix. Let's let's sort that out. Back to our dashboard and we're going to get to plugins quickly. We're going to go plugins, add new, and it's going to be Slim SEO. I've got a vid coming up on this Slim SEO plugin because how the heck I didn't know it existed before. Maybe I wasn't looking for, I don't know. But my goodness, this is the, the easiest SEO plugin you've ever used. And it's actually all you need. Video coming up on that. Let's install that. Almost fire and forget. And we'll get that Google SEO ranking almost immediately sorted. Hardly any settings, not bloated. We'll just quickly add a homepage meta description. This is an optimized 2024 theme. Yes, it is. Save changes. We're not actually grading the homepage at the moment, but that's all you do. Yes, you can add the social images you want. You can you can set stuff at page level and all that sort of jazz. But what this does is it puts auto meta descriptors in because remember our issue was document does not have meta description for all your pages. It will take whatever text there is on the page and just give you like a, you know, just the first paragraph or whatever. Anyway, vid coming up on this. Right. Next, we've got this about us stuff. So let's get back to our admin. Oh, there's a little fix here we need to do for it. But again, this, this doesn't affect the SEO, but we want the excerpt to be what is in the RSS feed, not the entire post. Back to our pages and our optimized page and those buttons, all we got to do is add links to them. Clearly, this is a red herring because of course you'd have links if you were building a page like this and they'd be linking off to the sort of things that these buttons are describing. But let's just for argument's sake, put those links into the sample page that clears that issue up on the SEO performance. And look, you see how this SEO plugin literally just has this in it. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Yoast and Rank Math and all that sort of stuff are 
epically brilliant plugins but fundamentally you don't actually need more than this if you're doing content seo and on-page seo separately anyway vid coming up right update that let's get back and get that server cache purged again that's done its business back to our front and we're going to give this a huge refresh hard refresh right are you ready for the the performance score here we go let's analyze that again right google what are you saying this time Whoa, yes indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we've got four yeses. And that, I reckon, is that. It's very possible. It's all possible with the right approach. Don't forget that link is in the description if you want to sign up for a free performance appraisal by yours truly. And don't forget, it's all about starting with block theming. And if you want to know a bit more about block theming, here's your next video. But until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>